हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल क्लाउड एंड ए एनालिटिक्स होप एवरी वन इज डूइंग गुड आई एम विग्नेश एंड इन दिस वीडियो वील बी डिस्कसिंग वॉट इज बिग क्वेरी सैंड बॉक्स एंड हाउ टू डू दिस सेटअप इन सेट कंसोल एंड फाइनली वी विल कंक्लूड दिस वीडियो बाई डिस्कसिंग सर्टेन लिमिटेशन ऑफ बिग क्वेरी सैंड बॉक्स सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट सो बिग क्वेरी सैंड बॉक्स एनवेंट विल लेट टू एक्सप्लोर दी different features of bigquery with certain limitations but at no cost basically in order to set up this sandbox environment you don't need to provide any credit card numbers or you don't need to give your uh, net internet banking or debit cards basically it is of free cost you don't even need to configure any billing account for your project even if you already created a billing account you can still use this bigquery at no cost in this free usage tier itself so this is what bigquery sandbox environment is and now i'll show you how to set up this bigquery sandbox environment just log into your favorite browser so i'm inside this browser and type this url so https console.cloud.google.com/bigquery so if you just type this then here you can see bigquery on google cloud console so with this url you will be able to set up your bigquery sandbox environment and now i'll show you the actual bigquery environment so this is the actual bigquery environment if you see from the name itself you can easily identify which is sandbox environment and which is the actual environment so sandbox environment will have the name sandbox notification you will be able to see it here set up billing to upgrade to full bigquery experience so this is basically sandbox and project id is also bigquery sandbox environment and inside the actual bigquery environment here you can see you don't have any notifications and you will be able to do anything and everything inside this so going back to the sandbox environment here you will be able to create data sets you will be able to create tables you can load your own data you can execute write queries execute queries all those things there are certain limitations with that as well so i have already created a data set that data set is my data set now i'll write a simple ddl state so basically i am creating a table that table name is my table and it has two columns product and inventory so the table is created here you can see my table just click on this and you will be able to find the schemas details and previews basically it doesn't have any data so now i am going to insert data into this table so this is the insert statement like my data set and the table name product inventory and this is the product name and this is the inventory so if i just select this and try to execute you will be able to see one error billing has not been enabled for this project so basically you will be not able to execute any dml statements or dml queries in your bigquery sandbox environment so apart from this there are other limitations as well which we will discuss now so all the bigquery quotas and limitations will be applied by default and the next point is you will be granted the same free usage limits as the bigquery free tier that includes 10 gb of active storage and 1 terabytes of processed query data each month so you will get 10 gb active storage and then 1 terabyte of data like you will be able to write queries and you will be able to process that much data in a month and the next one is all the bigquery data sets tables views and partitions automatically expire after 60 days and the next one is bigquery sandbox does not support streaming data so you will be able to load your own data or you will be able to use public data set in order to write queries and execute queries on it but you will be not able to support streaming data and as we discussed earlier you will be not able to support dml that is data manipulation language statements and finally you will be not able to use bigquery data transfer service as well so before closing this video i just wanted to execute a simple a uh, public data set sql query inside bigquery sandbox environment so i am using this table name usa 19 so how to add this public data set we have already discussed in the previous video you can just click on this add and search for public data set so the data set name is usa underscore names and just hit enter yeah this one so this is the data set and if you expand it you will be able to find this table usa underscore 1910 underscore 2013 and this are the schema and the details so we have this many records and if you can just click on this preview you will be able to preview the data state gender year name and number so if you want to query just click on this query and we will write this query so we will select name and some number so 
from this BigQuery data set and we will group it by group by name and order it by total. So this is the SQL query. And so when you select the query, you will be able to find how much KB or MBs it is going to process. So basically 84.06 MB will be processed and you can just click on this run. Basically, we don't need to worry about cost because everything is a free try, right? So we don't need to just you can find the results and you can find all the job information, temporary tables, chart, JSON details. So you can find just all the other details as what we found it in BigQuery environment. So this is how you will be able to set up this BigQuery sandbox environment. So by this, we are coming to the end of this video. If you have any questions, please post that in the comment section. I'll take a look at it and reply to it as soon as possible. Please do like, comment, share and subscribe to Cloud and AI Analytics. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, it's bye from Viknesh. Happy learning.